And we are back. Are we back? Hold on one moment. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we are back. <laughs> Just had to check something real quick. Oh, jeez. I forgot to put on my timer again. Oh, I'm so good at this. Jeez. So, um, last episode, things happened. Buddy got banished. Uh, Ethan yelled at some old guy. Uh, Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. We are Mira A gift Forrester. from Roderick. A gift from Roderick. Roderick, the dead son. I hope to see Lord them all Forrester. someday. Wait, what? No, she... Because she looked at the letter in there, and she stopped writing it because she knows her father died, but she also knows that Roderick died. Oh, she's just talking about everyone else, like the survivors, huh? Alright. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Yeah. No, it's overcast. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, also, what came up uh, last episode was the word milksop. And I learned what the milksop is. Milksop, according to Google definition, and I searched to find milksop on freaking Google. Cole, awesome. Milksop is a person who is indecisive and lacks courage. I did not know that. That's a pretty good word. Where the hell did that word come from? Who the hell? Why did she just... I love these stupid fucking prompts. <laughs> Just do it again. Come on, one more time. Just for good measure. Make sure it's the same thing that it was a couple moments ago. Yeah, where the hell does the word milksop come from? Who says it and why? Oh, well. Uh, ooh, letter. From mother? It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to Lady intervene Marjorie, on our behalf. The... She is our best hope. Yeah, you guys saw it last episode. I'm going to stop recapping. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Alright, so, uh, swindle the fuck out of Lady Marjorie. Not really swindle, but... Just get her to do shit for us. Someone's knocking. Who's this? One moment. Oh. Sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later Filthy. if you'd like. <laughs> no. No, it's come fine. on in. Come in. So you don't really know who he is, but he's a dirty guy in King's Landing. He's probably like a slave or a servant. So look at him. He's just putting coals in the coal thing. Begging your pardon, milady, but you're right. If uh, you don't mind my asking. You seem rather uh, upset. Say I'm worried. Well, not it's say. private. I'd rather not say. Like, of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Why the hell would you like open up to this? Please hurry if you bag? can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Come on, keep doing it. You won't just dump lady it in there already. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Uh, well. It's widely known that it's I do have a motherfucking handmaiden. <laughs> I've seen you with her before. Is he trying to hit you on her? seem like good friends. <laughs> I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning. Outside Dude, the royal set. Don't do it. He's got a filthy Cersei. dick. <laughs> Cersei. Oh, Queen Cersei. Hate the bitch. Like, I they like her that one, having some sort that of one episode where you're like, oh god, much, she's like smart and she's got power and... It was definitely an argument. Oh, what did they say? What did they say? She's got like power much, and she's manipulative and shit, but even still that like turns it into, oh god, she's Forrester. evil. How's Forrester? By the way, I'll talk over the not any kind subtitles. Of you can read the subtitles well, I thought you, want. you ought to know. When it comes to the, the Most episode 3, I'm probably going to stop talking over the subtitles. Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Huh. He could be night, useful. Lady. He could be really useful. But he's a coal boy. Like, is that his entire job is to dish out coal? Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. So isn't Marjorie, like, wasn't she originally a Stark or something stupid, and then, like, Joffrey, like, From the like, day you arrived in Highgarden, where you, like, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. And, like, said, a dear friend, oh, I'm gonna be an asshole and try to lady. get in on this? And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. 
I feel your pain as if it were my own. Yeah, I'm sure. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this so together. So Mama, a Mama asked... You must understand hey, there are Marjorie limits to, to what us. I can say. Especially here in right King's time. Landing, now that I am to be Queen. To have a handmaiden from the North, whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Oh, I just been talking out of my ass by that thing about Marjorie earlier. This morning outside the royal set. I don't remember shit from Game of Thrones. That was a long time ago. Yeah, stop talking around the guards. She the guards mentioned don't need a know northern this. girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. I am she a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What do you think about me? Her face was me, full huh? of mirth as she said it. But how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens. That you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless. Well, good. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know. Well, but she's waiting for us good. now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it Just were not important. instantly talk to... I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. Yeah, I'm your bitch, I so. knew I could trust you. Of course he could. The fuck my game paper? Am I game paper? Tell her what she wants to hear. Like, are the, are the foresters actually getting paid for what? What's the purpose of like sending See if the queen a daughter to be a handmaid? Like, I I would understand if it's like employment or some crap, but like she's like in a lord family, like a royal thing. That You'll guard was just eyeing I mean, us. <laughs> you may feel one thing. But you must say another. Alright, talk out of my ass. Wait, I always talk out of my ass. And I, okay, so. Good luck. Talk out of my, oh, okay, I'm not gonna say that. Nope. <laughs> just, uh, just wing it. Yeah, wing it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, dude, this is gonna go well. Wasn't the door already open a moment ago, or did she close it behind her? Whatever. Oh, yeah. And you can do this. Jeez, fucking Cersei and Tyrion just standing there. Oh, got control. All right, forward. <laughs> just slightly stutter. Just taking my time. She can wait for me. Look at it. She's waiting for me right here, right now. She knows ah, Lady place. Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? As always. Lord Tyrion, your grace. God, With your permission, things. allow me to introduce so Lady Mira smart, of House God. Forrester. Uh, Neil. Your Grace. Yep, it's the Queen. The girl knows yeah, her courtesies. Neil, or... Impressive. You may rise. Bitch, I was from a Lord House. I know how to treat like House Forrester people. is a Northern House loyal to the King. Just treat her how Are I they? treat myself. I beg Just your pardon, that. Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. Myself. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the King? Are we loyal to the King? Perhaps uh, you should ask the new Lord Forrester. We he's serve not here, King Joffrey. Is he? Yeah, she is. Joffrey is the one true King, Your Grace. Well, right mm. now. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yeah, and? They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. It's the truth! <laughs> <laughs> the girl did name Joffrey as the one true King. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Oh yeah, we're trying. He's the new warden. He is the warden of the north, your grace. Yeah, we go with the flow. He is. And I the queen regent, and Tyrion the master of coin. Master of coin, sick title. The girl <laughs> has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Yep. You got a problem with it? Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his oh. armies. Oh shit, we got I'm that. We got lots of that. who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Yeah, take it all. Forrester Iron does seem rather unique. 
Yes. Yes, Your Grace. Just dig it. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> I'm saying that. I say that every, every episode now. The house. <laughs> I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I, I won't dishonor, dishonor myself. myself, Your Grace. All right, I tell you I'm gonna do shit, I'm gonna fucking do it. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. <laughs> oh, well, little did you know. <laughs> Raises an interesting question, I suppose. Imagine. <laughs> Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon. Okay, the that's what it was. That he would Baratheon, one day rule the not Seven Stark. Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? No. I wouldn't. I'm sure she regrets it. Yeah, just please, Cersei. Perhaps, Fuck it. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. And call boys wanting to, to be something and they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? If you are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie, one can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. Mm, and if yeah. your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would... Let the girl answer the question. I would go to the fucking go Marjorie, on. stupid I would bitch, be true but to I'll the tell king. you what you want to hear because you're well said. in power. And I was beginning to I don't worry. You didn't understand what's the whole point straight. of this. She's trying to put me under her heel or something. She is a threat to the cloud, just isn't she? Gonna schlick to this the later. most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Land. <laughs> Tyrion's got her back, though. So. <laughs> this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Oh. Well, I guess I fucked up I'd like then, a word with you, if really, I may. I don't care. You know, of course, your grace. Flip off, or I, I had it really just. Uh. By the way, that conversation it went pretty well this time. I'll walk. <laughs> really up. difficult to get through any other time, especially when you're blind and not knowing exactly what she's going to say and stuff. At the tourney at Lannisport. <laughs> I always wanted that. Even then, you didn't I'm surprised it went that well. Really? We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. So he doesn't like Boltons, and he liked our father. Have my condolences for Sweet. his loss. Boltons got our family. These neighbor. would be Thank trying you. times for your family, even under the best Fuck the Boltons. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. <laughs> that certainly took courage to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. Eh, it you know, was she quite the fucking first Marjorie, impression. Yeah, it was her for I, of course, her sake. Found it That's all like what she wanted. It. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Marjorie's handmaiden mm, odd, was like acting up. That would not be you. good for her. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes yeah, great pleasure like in her feet. little shrouds. <laughs> I take mine in thwarting them. We must oh, find our asshole. amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. Oh, yeah? The crown oh, needs it's... boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. I want Not this. her. What I are you this. suggesting? Say it. Say it, and I will say I yes. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. But she and needs it the would Ironwood. infuriate Cersei. Oh, no, Cersei Although needs what Marjorie. what would be amusing for me might what prove rather Marjorie dangerous for you and your house. Oh, Marjorie probably just hates I'm willing to risk that. Uh, well, it's risky. It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested nope, such a thing. It's it. a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Take Please. our wood. You are a brave girl, aren't you? And put it in your mouth. I'll consider it. Oh my god, Zach. Now, no, if you'll excuse up. me, I promise Sansa <laughs> I will join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. 
Yeah, I want to see you again. Makes me thirsty right. already. And take I more of my other again. way next time. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yep, as I said, King's Landing is like a scary fucking place. Because politics, man, I hate politics. I'm bad at it, so. Like, if I personally was in King's Landing, fucking beheaded a week later. <laughs> it's fucking Stark style, you know. <laughs> The fuck was his name? Ned? Mira, I don't know. I was worried. Spoilers, by the way. Oh. How was it? <laughs> uh, Cersei has a way of looking at you, so you're went well. It went well. I just, really? uh, you know, kind of threw relief. fucking Cersei's Marjorie under the bath. Uh, under the bath. Yeah. I threw Marjorie under the bath. Lady there was Marjorie not a has spent sight. the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. <laughs> ninth born sons. Sir geez. Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Wow. <laughs> what? It's true. Lude. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. I don't know what he looks like, but I'll agree because I'm a girl and, and I and care about what passionate. other people. From what I've heard. Like, I want to see what the fuck's up with Perhaps this Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the what right was introductions. Name, Sarah? Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. It would be actually pretty awesome, unless the king is an asshole. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain uh, look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie uh, well. Yeah, Which actually. Is more than you can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. To be honest, right. I would definitely marry of Joffrey course. because I feel like I could twist him up. Well, like, I would marry put him, him under my thumb Imagine instead the power of having him being have a little whiny as queen of the seven kingdoms. Like, you know, I suck his dick at the right times and smack him on the other times and yeah. Let's see. I don't know what I'm talking Who about anymore. Don't worry. Marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> no, what Tyrion's mine. Match. Get her off him, bitch. Sir and... What are you doing? Uh, we're fucking up your shipping wall. Duh. Well? Just having fun, you know? We're sorry, Chill. my lady. We were just having fun. Oh, yeah, her name is Sarah. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men. Oh, so she's doing like a status the queen thing was by putting like important people up Mira. front and having like her personal friends who she I'm actually cares about and like, you know, send them in the back. King's because Landing can be exhausting like, sometimes. The whole marriage is a fucking business too. There's always someone <laughs> to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. See, exactly, fucking I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Suck. Once they know your true heart, so the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. So much is social bullshit. <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> what? That people love you and stay at heart? It's hard to please. People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. Ha! <laughs> you learn very yep. quickly. Oh, Marjorie liked it too. She was trying your to like give to us Cersei a lesson or something. Brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Fuck the Boltons! <laughs> I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Uh... No. Well, no, I because I got the thing with Tyrion going on. Maybe that'll help out. I don't need Marjorie. I, I don't think I need her. My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you for my family. What? No. Oh. But as you said, oh, you're yeah. in a delicate position now with the wedding ceremony. Okay. And I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now... Now we must both be cautious. Horses are all gonna die with the uh, right there. Yeah. My family's my family's my got family this shit strong, down. My lady, don't let it trouble you. I know Horses they will know find a way to up. prevail. All right. So, uh, yeah, I denied that. <laughs> 
now we're just here with my horse. Uh, I guess I ate all the food. The horse is not carrying anything. You know what? Did I bring the maggots with me? Like, do they ever pull the... <laughs> no, no. Shit. <laughs> well, Garrett's got nothing now. Seven hours. Sisters wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. No. Nope. Who are you again? <gasps> oh, what's going on over here? Oh, dang. Dude, you know he's not really actually doing anything actively. He's just poking him. <laughs> just like pissing him I off. I have fallen this also, I don't understand. It's like, but he didn't it's make not it when easy. people look back. It's well, just when you got like a red bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. That's like a oh, danger zone. I actually kind of want to get caught. As my caught. father likes to say, nah, I don't the naked man time. holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Flayed man, the flayed uh, freaking. Oh. Okay, so you can he move with the now. mouse too. I was using the arrows, but yeah, the mouse. How much can further move. is it? <laughs> Garrett Tuttle just Forest going back and forth, dancing to this music. Uh, day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? There's a twig, idiot. Lord? Shh! Listen! So, there. What? No, stop that. Stop being a goddamn psychic. There's nothing to hear. I know uh, I heard something. No, you didn't. Nothing happened. Nothing's here. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. All right, fine. Let's go. Just leave the guy played there. Just be like, yeah, Moltons were here. And now we're not, so. You know. Territory's up in the air now. <laughs> it's all Molten. I wish I do kind of like want to get back into Game of Thrones only because of shit like this, where it's like the Boltons, their banner is literally an upside down flayed man. Can I see the banner? It's right there. I can only go forward. Nothing else works. And he takes one step every time I hit W. <laughs> slowly, slowly, slow. Uh, okay, he's auto. Nope. And. You okay? Alright, I'm just gonna try it back out now. Nope. <laughs> Alright, enough wasting time. Let's just get through this. Bloody hell! Whoa, that was... Pleasant. <laughs> Alright, back to, uh... Ethan? Yeah, Ethan. Yeah, Lord Ethan! Ethan. As I was Come saying, on, Lord Ethan. you are young. Don't be that way to me, Ethan. And there are those within these walls who are <laughs> uncertain of your leadership. Well, I don't blame them. I'm a fucking baby. 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Well, that's sick. Dig them up. <laughs> we need them here now. Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. The Tall founded the house. What did they call house? my father? That's Lord Grey yeah. the good. Uh, he was fair and wise and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. So give me a name. These were I your father's people to lead the... and protect, and now they're yours. Ethan but your father the... did not bear this responsibility yeah, alone. Because he can't fuck. Ethan, he every e Ethan the, the Weekend. Ethan the Weekend. <laughs> The Lord Sentinel. Uh, I'm having Forest too much traditions fun right now. <laughs> demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. A Lord Sentinel? All right. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. Craven son of a whore. Son of the Lord, we need his judgment. All right, I'll judge you. I'm gonna judge you so hard. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> Lord um. Ethan, 
Yeah, you Mate. need me to judge. I'll judge. You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Jeez. We all fucking know it! Shut up! Uh, yeah, thief. that's it. Eric was supposed to be guarding our gone. weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Get your shit together, Eric! Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Royland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. Oop. Uh, spacebar pauses. We should all flee. <laughs> it's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks She's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of Where bread and pay? wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. go. Lord Ethan, Where I know are these the words are hard, screaming? but they're honest. This <laughs> Look house in the background, is are there any female models? We'll never survive the coming winter. We will survive We together. are in this together. All right. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. Yeah, that's true, but it'll be you who's dying You'll come winter. You'll address him as Do Lord. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord uh, Gregor always took a thief's fingers, three of them. Three now fingers. may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know or, they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Yeah. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Send him to the wall. No, fucking. Why would we send him to the wall? Him to the wall? Him to the wall? Because Garrett's at the wall. If we send him to the wall, he'll be with Garrett. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Huh. I, can't, I gotta take his fingers. Because he's a fucking. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent so it's man. Fingers or wall. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Innocent? You stole? Please. You admitted it? My lord. Fucking. My family depends on me. Alright, here's the thing Ethan's a nice guy. So, I kind of want to send him. Because I did take his fingers. Nothing really came up of it. I just wanted to take his fucking fingers because he's a fucking thief. But I could also send him to the wall because maybe in episode 3 he'll meet with Garrett. I'm thinking ahead. Uh, nah, fuck it. Just nice guy, Ethan. Why not? Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Alright, die for me. Just make sure you die one day and it's for me. Alright, don't get sick. Don't have no fucking horse fall on you. Okay? Fucking take a sword, that was certainly stab unpleasant. it into someone else, but and they'll take it stab it into you. When it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, was I right to? What do you think? You know, me. A war yes. and a thief. Did I do what's right? <laughs> Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Hmm. Someone you can rely on, Who would no matter be? the circumstance. Possessing it can't wisdom, be him because he's with the experience. Citadel. He's not Who the Forester. He's choose? with the Citadel. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly so, of the other. Duncan How do I decide between Royland? them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Uh, yeah. He's talking to people. The bracer of the Sentinel. <laughs> he says as he plays the, the game, that's nothing office. but talking. Tonight is your first small That's council meeting. Bracer. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. All right. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. Yeah. It is you, my duty. Yeah, you did your fucking Come job. Come speak job. with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I wasn't even trying to be an asshole when I said he did a good job, because that's what he fucking did. He fucking told me what's up. Everything's... 
fucking coming up Ethan. <sighs> Royland or Duncan? They've been at each other's throats like the whole fucking thing. Anyway, we're about at time. Um, when it comes to the next part, we'll continue with Lord Ethan. Get him a sentence, though. You know what I mean, man. <laughs>